10 years ago. I discovered the existence of an alternative music scene in Tunisia in the 70s, 80s. And when I say alternative, it's bands that didn't sing Tarab or Melouf, but sang funk, disco, rock. It developed in hotels. There were local musicians playing in hotels, disco classics, but they decided at some point to write their own music. Exactly. Yeah. And it gave really interesting things. There were a few things that were reissued by certain labels, and that's how I discovered it. And I tried to know more about that era, so I contacted artists. I was like, what, what tracks have you done? Trying to listen to the music when we find it. And also try to understand the socio-cultural aspect. What is it to sing disco in Tunisia in the 70s, 80s? What crowd did it bring? And yeah, I got really interesting stories from singers who were considered as punks singing disco in Tunisia in the 80s. So for example, some of the anecdotes some people were telling me is when you dress disco funky dress, the police would stop you and would maybe cut your hair or rape your clothes <laughs> cut your hair they'd have yeah. the clippers on. yeah it's crazy so they tried to kill the scene a bit but in any case the scene was so tiny so niche yeah. it gave really interesting music for example this one so Zelila is from Sousse which is in the south of Tunisia most of them didn't do a lot of music Zalila for example only did this track or I only know about this track <laughs> So this is 82. I liked it more halftime. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I like it. Still has a, yeah, like yeah. an Arab feel. Sure, yeah, for sure. <laughs> 